Welcome to Be Great Today, weekly inspiration to start your week. I am Jonathan Bloom, or Frasley Sparks Band in World of Warcraft. So my phone popped up a notification from the dictionary.com app, and the word of the day was diffidence. So I looked into it, and according to dictionary.com, it means the quality or state of lacking confidence in one's ability, worth, or fitness. And this word got me thinking about stuff. So today I went and renewed my driver's license. My vision is not always great. I was very nervous about renewing my driver's license. A driver's license to me is an amazing privilege and honor, and it's one I don't want to give up. So I went in, and I was trying to have confidence. I was trying not to have diffidence. The whole time along, trying not to think about, what if I fail? What if I fail? What if I fail? I don't want to lose my license. And I went in, smiled. I was praying. I was thinking through, I'm going to do it. I was calm. And there, and there was a point where it was kind of tough, but I just stayed calm. And I said, I can do this. I can pass. And guess what? I did. But I had to be confident. I had to not be diffident. I danced with many different people in ballroom dancing. And I can tell when someone is feeling diffident. You can tell that like their steps don't work quite the same way. Or they're trying to spin and they get off balance. But when that person is feeling confident in who they are, confident knowing the step, confident that they can do it, even if they are not perfectly trained in it, they do it so much better when they tell themselves, I can do it. I can do the step. When they're feeling unsure, they're feeling diffident. It puts off the entire step. You can tell when my leads are diffident. When I am unsure on something, I can give a confusing lead, or if I change halfway through thinking that's a different step, it messes everything up. But when I'm confident, even if I don't do it right, it is much better. The person can feel me better. They can understand what I'm going for better. And we may not get through it perfectly, but you know what? We make it through. When I'm diffident in an exam, I can fail. I failed natural sciences because I went in very diffident, very unconfident. I studied up on it again, went in with confidence, and I felt so much better. I stutter way more when I'm diffident when I'm not feeling comfortable, when I'm not feeling confident in what I'm saying or what people are thinking about what I'm saying, I can start to stuttering. And podcasting, it is hard sometimes to record. Just in this recording, you won't have heard a lot of it because I will have removed it, but I've stopped and started my speech a few times. I've stumbled over words. Sometimes when I'm not sure if what I'm saying is good, I'm feeling different about my ability. I'm feeling different about what you will think of what I'm saying here. I sometimes think that confidence comes from just doing what we know and not worrying about how we did until after we're done. I was learning that in the military, they will have a debrief after they take an action to then figure out, okay, how did we do the action? What was the result? How can we do it better? In public relations right now, I'm learning about how you plan out, you do your response, then you evaluate afterwards to see how you do it better. Mistakes are part of life. Where's the afraid to make mistakes? On Twitter right now, there is a push for an edit button. But my friend Kara said, you don't need an edit button. You need to learn to be okay with making mistakes. And you know, I, I actually agree with that in a lot of ways. I will put out a tweet with a typo. Or sometimes I put out a tweet with information or a perspective that really was wrong. And I had to learn and I had to be like, I admit it. What I said earlier was, wasn't the best or I made mistakes in what I was saying. And I've made me wonder, are we diffident? Are we unconfident in who we are because we aren't perfect? Are we afraid to make mistakes? One of the things I love about podcasting, it allows me to make mistakes and sometimes fix them. There are times I can't fix it and you hear it in the audio. You hear it in what I'm saying, but there are times I can fix it. Sometimes though, the mistakes, they make me human. They make me real. I've been learning how vulnerability is a powerful part of leadership. It brings me down to earth. It can be inspiring to somebody to be like, hey, I'm not perfect. And no, I'm not perfect at all. My friends and family, people that know me can list all the flaws in what I am and all the flaws in what I'm doing. My friend Ali reminded me that it's okay to be human. It's okay to be imperfect. There are times on Frazzlecast, things go wrong. I just go with it because things aren't perfect and I'm never going to be perfect. I'm going to be me. I'm always trying to improve, but I will never not make a mistake. Wait, was that a double negative? Sometimes even grammar. You know what? I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to be confident in what I'm saying, and I'll learn later on if I did bad grammar or speech. I need to be confident in who I am. 
but it can be easy for me to not have confidence in my abilities. There are times I don't see the strengths that others see in me. This week, let's be confident, not diffident. Let's go into stuff and let's see how what we do changes by just having confidence in our actions. Many times I have to be reminded to not be double-minded. After I make an action, I have to evaluate what it is, but I can't be double-minded. I can't be unsure. In dancing, that is the worst thing as a lead. If you aren't confident in what you're dancing, it sends mixed signals. But one thing I've learned in dancing, it's not about how you mess up. It's how you get back on. Thank you for listening this week. I'm hopefully very confident that this was inspiring to you. There, there are weeks I feel very diffident. I just love that word now. You'll, you'll probably hear me saying diffident for a long time. It's a fun word. It's just so much different to say diffident than saying confident. But yeah, you can find the show at inspirationalpodcast.com. So until next week, don't be diffident. Be confident and be awesome. Want more awesomeness every week? Visit weeklyawesome.com. Weekly podcasts to make your week better. Remember to smile and be awesome. This show is brought to you by Dragon Powered Studio. Find more at dragonpoweredstudio.com.